I remember once hearing that after the crucifixion of Jesus, it's the Annunciation of his birth that is the second most frequently depicted scene in the entire history of Christian art. The Annunciation of the birth of Jesus has been the subject of artists' work since the 4th century in the drawings in the Roman catacombs. It's the subject of artists' work in the Middle Ages and the Renaissance in both the Eastern and the Western churches. Today we reflect on the representation of the Annunciation offered by Henry Osawa Tanner, the first African-American painter to win international acclaim in the decades following the American Civil War. Tanner gives us an image of the Annunciation that evokes the words of St. Luke the Evangelist, who describes Mary as pondering what the angel Gabriel's greeting might mean. But in Tanner's version of the Annunciation, we don't actually see an angel. We see Mary looking at a light, but no winged creature holding a lily or carrying a scroll with a message, as we might see in the art of other ages. We don't even see a halo on Mary to designate her as a saint. What we see is a young woman at prayer, at what might appear to be a time when she's just rising from sleep. In place of the winged angel, we see light. And if we look closely, we see the beam of light intersects with a shelf, giving us an image of a cross. What Tanner may be teaching us as we ponder this image on the fourth Sunday of Advent is that angels are pure spirits communicating a message that may touch us directly in our hearts. The message comes from and leads us back to the Lord of light Jesus Christ, who calls us to share in his glory, but only if we're willing to pick up our cross and follow him. As we meditate on Tanner's beautiful image of Our Lady, we pray, Hail Mary, full of grace, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen.